Hi guys, I'm True Pierce with Guns America and today we're going to be looking at the SIG's brand new lineup of Kilo rangefinders. We've got the entire line here and we're going to go over what the differences are and like basically talk about why you might want one over another. Uh, there's no reason to buy one that does more than you need and you definitely don't want to buy the one that doesn't do what you need. So make sure that you uh, like and subscribe for the video. If you enjoy the video today, uh, we'd appreciate that. So SIG has been the industry leader in rangefinders. Uh, they pushed the envelope on features for years now. Uh, their rangefinders have been the fastest. They've ranged the furthest. Um, and so we're gonna be looking at all those features today. So we're gonna be covering the Kilo Canyon, which is the only one that doesn't follow the naming convention, the Kilo 3K, which is this one over here, the Kilo 4K, the Kilo 5K, the Kilo 6K, which are these two here, the Kilo 8K, and the Kilo 10K. So as not to be redundant, I'm gonna cover everything that all of the rangefinders have in common, then we'll look at some of their uh, unique characteristics individually. So with the exception of the Kilo Canyon, which is this one down here, the rangefinder name corresponds to the maximum distance the rangefinder will range. So for example, the Kilo 3K, uh, it does a maximum range on a reflective target of 3,000 yards. The 6K, 6,000 yards. So that's an easy way to sort of keep track of the kind of performance that you're gonna get out of each of these rangefinders. Every single model you see here carries SIG's five-year electronic guarantee and lifetime product guarantee. Uh, it's one of the best in the industry. Every single model will give range in yards or meters and it will give outputs or corrections in mils or MOA. So what I mean by that is, is every one of these has some sort of ballistic correction. If you put in the information, it will tell you in mils or MOA, hey, in order to hit that target at 300 yards, you need to come up one mil. So every one of them does either or, so you don't have to choose. Every single model has a very fast laser in it, and they'll give you up to four ranges a second. So that's the same all the way through. Every model will give you approximately 4,000 ranges or pulses out uh, per battery. Uh, they're all easy to change the battery on. Uh, as you can see, you don't have to have a tool. You can just flip this up, spin it out, you can switch the battery in the field. Not a big deal at all. Uh, every model will do line of sight, or LOS as SIG calls it, and what that actually is, it's the true distance. So if it ranges, and that's what you would expect, right? If I range that rock over there that's 100 yards, this is going to say 100 yards. Now we're here at a canyon, and um, obviously we can get some really steep angles down. When we're in the line of sight mode on every single one of these, uh, when we range the target, it will also give us the angle so that we could put that in a Kestrel or another ballistic app. Uh, every single one of these rangefinders in this Kilo series also does what is called AMR, or Adjusted Modified Range. Uh, and it's the equivalent of horizontal range. So when we shoot at really extreme angles, uh, our bullets or arrows do different things. And basically SIG has taken the math out for us on that with this Adjusted Modified Range, or AMR. Every one of these has that in it. Every model except the Kilo Canyon, which is this one down here, has what is called archery mode. It's a new mode that SIG has come out with, and as long as you have the speed of your arrow, SIG can calculate what your actual horizontal distance would be in that case. Every model except the Kilo Canyon has BDX 2.0, which, which will connect to SIG's BDX 2.0 app for Android or Apple, and it will connect to SIG scopes, where they'll display a ballistic holdover dot in the scope. So if you haven't seen this before, uh, Let's talk, about, let's talk about the scope first. So SIG has these BDX scopes. They take Bluetooth. When you connect them together and you range the target, automatically the, the range finder sends the signal to the scope, tells it how many yards it is, does all the ballistics calculations, and then drops an LED dot into the reticle and tells you how much to hold over. Uh, every model except the canyon will allow you to drop a pin and base map. So this is kind of a new feature. Some of you may have heard of this. What this is, is Base Map is an app. You can get it on Android or iPhone. It's a mapping app. It has topographical, it has uh, aerial, uh, actual photos, satellite imagery, and you can pre-download the maps. And the idea would be that if you're out in a hunting situation, that you've got an animal over there and you need to put a stock on it, but hey, it's getting dark, or you're gonna need to be there in the morning. Well, you can range the exact spot push the range button, open the app, tell it you're doing this, and it will actually drop a pin 
in the app, on the map, on the location that you range. So the exact distance and the exact direction. So all of these, except for the Canyon, have the ability to work with that base map app. Every model except the Kilo Canyon has what's called BLE or Bluetooth Low Energy so that you can leave the Bluetooth, Bluetooth on and it does not destroy your battery. It also has extra long range so if you're connecting to uh, some, something else uh, they'll actually work for quite a distance. Every model has the first, best, and last mode and so that you sort of understand this first detects smaller targets at closer ranges. So if you're trying to hit something that's kind of close but obstructed uh, best is going to be for targets that are kind of out in the open, uh, there's nothing obstructing them. And then last is going to be for targets that might have brush in front of them. So you're shooting across the canyon, there's a tree or brush in front of the animal, um, and it's going to shoot through that, it's going to ignore the brush or grass and pick up uh, what's behind it. Um, all of the models except for the canyon have what is called fog and XR extended range modes. So fog basically ignores that close fog because it's picking that stuff up in the atmosphere. And so in a foggy situation, you'd turn that mode on. And then XR is for extra long range readings. And according to SIG, you really need to have this on a tripod or bagged up so that it holds perfectly still in order to make that work accurately. Every model except the Canyon will allow you to drop a base pin in, in uh, base map which I told you about they do it a little differently the, the top end ones have compasses in them and so they actually know right where they're pointed these other ones that require an extra step in base map itself okay so first up is the Kilo Canyon and this is the most economical uh, rangefinder in the SIG Kilo lineup. It's the only one that does not follow the naming convention that we talked about a second ago. However, it does have all the other features that I told you about minus the exclusion of this rangefinder. So it's a polymer housing. It's very lightweight. Even with a battery in it, I weighed it at like five and a half ounces. Uh, it's a six power monocular. It has a red LED display inside it. It's uh, got a lightweight polymer housing like I just mentioned. It's got an ocular adjustment. The image in this also uh, automatically adjusts for brightness. Uh, it has eight board onboard ballistic groups. So this doesn't have applied ballistics light in it like the other ones. This has these ballistic groups where you put in your ballistic coefficient and your velocity and you match it up to where it's the closest and it will give you come ups and mills or MOA out to 800 yards. So it's not going to be quite as accurate as the other ones but it's going to be pretty close. The only sensor this has in it is incline. MSRP on this is $220 and obviously uh, you don't know from the name, but this one does range 3,000 yards on reflective targets, 1,200 on trees, and 1,000 on game like deer. Guys, next up is the Kilo 3K, and um, this is a fantastic little rangefinder. It's six power. It's also a polymer housing. It has a red OLED display in it that automatically calibrates for brightness. We'd mentioned earlier that they all do the line of sight and the AMR, but this also has the archery. It has the BDX uh, U, which is the applied ballistics ultralight has a uh, bullet database with G1 and G7 ballistic coefficients in it, and it will work uh, basically applied ballistics out to 800 meters. It also has BDX uh, X, which is an external connection, so it will connect with like a Garmin device that has applied ballistics on it or a Kestrel that has applied ballistics. So, meaning you Bluetooth with those, you range, and it automatically puts the range into that. Kestrel does a full workup with all the sensors, sends it back and gives you the correct come up and that works beyond 800 yards. So this has onboard environmentals in it. It has temperature, pressure, humidity, and an incline sensor. Uh, it has all the other BDX uh, stuff that connects to SIG scopes, just like we talked about. Uh, this ranges to 3,000 yards on reflective, 1,800 on trees, and 1,500 yards on deer. Uh, and then the MSRP on this is $390. So this is kind of the lowest that you can get and still have all those environmentals and all those features. Uh, and that is the SIG Kilo 3K. Next up is the Kilo 4K. This is a six power. It's got a red uh, TO LED, which stands for optically transparent LED display. And the reason this one is different is because this whole rangefinder is different. The Kilo 4K has a feature that none of the rest of these have, 
and that is that it has optical image stabilization. So you may have seen this from SIG and other binocular products where you turn a switch and it actually optically stabilizes the image, slows it down, removes the shake. Uh, this is, as far as I know, the first rangefinder to ever have that in it. Uh, the shape of the body is different, and this one actually has a quarter 20 tripod or adapter mount on the bottom, which none of the rest of those have. It has all the stuff we just talked about in the 3K inside it, all of the sensors, the environmental sensors, it has the applied ballistics ultralight and will connect also to the uh, Garmin or the uh, Kestrel. Uh, this does 4,000 yards on reflective targets, 2,000 on trees, 1,600 yards on deer. This one is a little more expensive at 660 MSRP. Uh, but that is the SIG Kilo 4K with optical image stabilization. The next up is the SIG Kilo 5K, and this is the aluminum housing. It's a little, just slightly an ounce or two heavier. This is actually a seven power monocular. It has a red OLED display. You can actually adjust the eyepiece out for eyeglasses, uh, all that kind of stuff. Um, it's kind of what we're used to seeing from SIG. Uh, it's that form factor has all of the sensors in onboard sensors it has the the applied ballistics ultralight all the stuff we've been talking about this one ranges to 5,000 yards as you would guess based on the name on reflective targets 2,500 on trees and 2,000 yards on deer uh, the MSRP on this is 769 but I mean you're finally getting into something here with an impressive range finder performance uh, it's got the environmental sensors in it, so you're going to have very accurate ballistics out to 800 yards in this and further if you connect it to a Kestrel. All right, so these binoculars are the Kilo 6K 10 to 32s. They make two of these in the 32 version of the Kilo 6K. There's an 8 to 32, and this, like I said, is a 10 to 32. So these weigh 26.1 ounces, so they're lighter. Um, so this is a new design. I actually hadn't actually seen these prior to this review. So they have everything we've been talking about that all of these other rangefinders in the Kilo series have. They have all the environmental center, sensors, um, the temperature, humidity, pressure, all that uh, that we've been talking about, all of the Bluetooth, all of, all of those features. So the big difference is they're a binocular and they're lightweight and um, they're pretty awesome. They have the automatic brightness display inside so they automatically adjust for ambient light depending on what you're doing. So there's a couple things here. This is the 10 to 32 and these are about $1,200, $1,209. And then the eight to 32s are a little less at 1,014 MSRP. This is the Kilo 6K uh, 10 to 42s, and if you guys remember, SIG had basically what looked identical to this, even the same color, and what they called the Kilo 3000s. That model's been discontinued. This one is the 6K, range is 6,000 yards on reflective targets, 3,000 on trees, 2,500 on deer, has all the other features we've been talking about so far with the environmentals. It's basically exactly like that old rangefinder that SIG has discontinued, other than it ranges further and has environmentals inside it. So the MSRP on this is 1428. They're IPX7 waterproof. This is a pretty awesome uh, setup for a rangefinder. It'll still connect your Kestrel, has applied ballistic slide out to 800 yards, uh, all that. This is the SIG Kilo 8K ABS. This is the full applied ballistics version. Uh, if you remember, there used to be one called the 2400 ABS and this is what replaces it. This one is better though. So let me tell you about it. It's a seven power. It's got an AMOLED, which is an active matrix organic light emitting display, which basically means they can put whatever they want to in there. Uh, it's not predefined. Software updates mean that, that they can give you a lot of information. So you have a lot of choices in this display. Um, it can tell you what profile, what rifle, what caliber you're shooting. It can give you a, a bliss or it can give you a, a compass heading because this actually has a compass in it. So in addition to temperature, pressure, uh, the other sensors we've been talking about, angle, it also has a compass, which gives us some additional things. It can actually take into effect for Coriolis effect and things like that. This range is 8,000 yards reflective, 2,500 on trees, 2,000 yards on deer. Uh, MSRP is 1980 on this. And I guess let me just, I can't stress enough, this is a full um, ballistics app right here. I mean, this is a Kestrel with a rangefinder is essentially how I would describe this. The applied ballistics is the is what it's running. 
And so I can literally take this range across this canyon, range down at an angle, and it's going to give me the exact dope or come up that I need in mils or MOA. It's going to say dial 13.7 mils, and that'll be exactly what it should do. It's basing that all off of temperature sensor, uh, the temperature sensor, the humidity, pressure. It's taking all those readings every time it ranges. So pretty impressive uh, little little rangefinder. Now it comes with this multi-cam case. There's batteries inside the case. There's a magnetic pouch inside the case that uh, holds that. There is a tripod adapter. So you can actually connect this to a tripod. This runs through it and allows you to run that more accurately on a tripod. And then there's a Bluetooth wind meter. If you were thinking, hey, it's not quite like a Kestrel, um, because there's no way to measure wind. Actually, there is. You connect this to your phone and you can range and get a wind reading and it will take all of that into account. So a pretty neat setup. Uh, that is the Sig Kilo 8K ABS full applied ballistics. All right, guys, this is the Kilo 10K. This is the flagship model uh, from Sig. Uh, and as you can assume from the name, this ranges out to 10,000 yards on reflective targets, 4,000 on trees, 3,000 yards on deer, which is really, truly insane when you consider that 1,760 yards is a mile. So this, this has the same display in it that the 8K had that we just talked about. It's got that uh, active matrix organic light emitting diode, um, and it is insane. It's really easy to read. They can put so much information in there. The menu is amazing. Um, Pretty incredible. The range finding features are, in, uh, I can't say enough good about this. Uh, this right here is, a, is an aftermarket feature that allows me to connect this to a tripod. But um, these are IPX7 waterproof. Um, you know, they have the adjustable diopters. Uh, pretty amazing stuff. Full applied ballistics. So as far as you can range, it will give you the, the dope or the holdovers. Uh, it will still connect to a Kestrel just like the 8K will. Does come with a Bluetooth uh, wind meter, so that if you need to need that for wind, you can connect that to your phone and do wind. And it also ships with this multi-cam uh, binocular harness uh, thing right here. So uh, MSRP on this is right at $2,750. Uh, but this is sort of the best furthest ranging civilian eye safe laser rangefinder uh, that I'm aware of in the industry at the moment. The SIG Kilo 10Ks.